So I found this gadget online the other day, and I myself has never seen one of these. And I really wasn't sure what it was, and I read the description, and I still really wasn't sure what it was. And I did some digging around, and uh, lo and behold, I figured out what it was. And in case you're wondering what this is, this is a knot tire. And I had to have it after I found out what it was, because I have hands like these. They're huge meat hooks. And these huge meat hooks actually have a hard time tying the knot with a really small fishing hook, unlike this large fishing hook. Now I have a large fishing hook because I want the camera to pick it up and I'm going to show you how this works. It is really clever, really cool. So you take the hook and you slip it down in this slot and this is a large hook. So like I said, you would normally do this with a small hook that are hard to tie and you twist this knob down until the hook is nice and tight. So as you can see, if you had a really small hook, it'd be really easy to hold the hook in place like this. So this tool helps you tie a fisherman's knot. And a fisherman's knot's pretty cool because you don't have to thread the string through the, through the loop. Now, we have really large string and a really large hook and it'd be really easy to thread this through. But I wanna show you uh, how a fisherman's knot works and how to tie it using this gadget. It's actually really simple. Now you're gonna take this tool and this string's going to the fishing pole on, on this side here. And you're gonna wrap it around these two tall towers like this. You're going to give it kind of a cross, so you're going to kind of overlap yourself like so. But then you're just going to take the entire tool and give it some twists. So we're going to twist it about five times, maybe six. So that's one, that's two, that's three, there's four, and there's five. You're going to take this, and you're going to go right back over one of these hooks. You're going to go over the first hook like this, okay? Then here comes the cool part. You're going to lower all of these with your thumb. And then when you pull on your string, that allows this string to go up and over the top of this hook to complete your knot. Okay, we're not done yet. Now you're going to loosen the tool up, pull your hook out, and then since this is recessed in hook, it allows you to pull the tail through. So we're just going to pull the tail on through like this. Okay, then tighten your hook. And that's it. You're going to pull your hook to the top, and you're ready to fish. So it's a pretty cool device. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. You also want to snip off your tail here. These scissors are actually kind of weak for the string or I would do that, but you'll snip your tail off. It's ready to fish. So this tool, like I said, I've never seen one before. Um, I think if you Google Watchmen Not Tire, you'll find this. If I can find a link for it, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, pretty cool tool. It's very light, it's aluminum. Um, there's also another feature on this particular model. A lot of them don't have this, but uh, it's a different way to tie knots. Don't ask me how to tie a knot with it because the instructions were in Chinese and I don't read Chinese. But um, again, if I find a link to this, I'll put it in the description. Pretty cool tool. Every fisherman should have one.